so this is a, uh, a tell-all video. Mm, I'll go on. Uh, when we were in clinic, uh, when I was interning, I did uh, eight months, I think, interning, and, and at one point there became this demand that we find a file for a patient. Uh, her last name was Cox. We'll go, well, I'll go that far because I don't know. Uh, and it became uh, the Holy Grail, the quest for the Holy Grail, looking for this. Because what had happened was this patient was, was not satisfied with the service she got or something. And was, uh, there was a lawsuit, but there was litigation involved, and so they absolutely had to find this file. Well, we as interns knew what had happened to the file. Uh, be, one of the employees, a black girl, had been fired, and uh, I don't know whether it was just or not. I don't have any idea. I know she was mad about it, and she knew that this thing was going to litigation. So she took Savannah Cox. Oh, um, there we go. I'm going to start this again. Oh, wait a minute. What the heck? What's it going to hurt? Who's going to... Anyway, she took this file and threw it in a dumpster. Uh, we all knew that. But they absolutely uh, forced us to keep looking for this file. At one point, uh, several of us had been suspended. Those are other stories for other days. Uh, and we were made to work the extra shifts. No other clinics had to make the extra shifts. As they missed no matter why they missed them. Not a lot of them were kicked out, although we did have a high rate of uh, disciplinary action taking on us. But uh, one day, we were on our second shift, right, which took me out of income, which took me out of a whole bunch of things. And so what we did was we locked ourselves upstairs in the laundry room and opened one of the file drawers. And then we just sat around played games and talked and chatted and we were ostensibly looking for the uh, file of this patient. Well, at one, what the rumor that went around to the clinicians was that we were planning to blow up the clinic. But before we left, we were going to absolutely blow up the clinic, which, I mean, you understand how connect the dots, how you get things totally, like somebody had started that rumor and they absolutely believed in it. So two of the clinicians decided they were going to come in and find the plot, find the bomb plans, everything. And they very quietly, which they didn't have to be because we were in there telling stories and laughing and stuff, uh, slipped a key in the door and went to race through the door. Well, the door opened about five inches, maybe six inches, and hit our trip alarm. We had a file drawer in front of it, and it slammed, and both of them slammed into each other. The door slammed shut. Well, everybody uh, jumped up and started looking through file cabinets because we were supposed to be looking for this one file. <laughs> Pushed the door closed, opened it, and... Uh, Dr. Kaufman stood up and pointed to the, we were all morning shift people having disciplinary stuff being made to stay for nothing, and we didn't have any patients, so we just, like I said, sat around and did. There was only one afternoon shift guy there, and he was uh, Peter Vaughn, I think his name was. But Kaufman stood up and said, Peter Vaughn is hiding in here. And he was European, and he was mortified. He thought we turned him into the Gestapo, I guess. And the clinicians had run into each other fairly heavily as they entered the door. And so they're looking to see why is this guy ratting on Dr. Vaughn, which he really wasn't. He was just trying to distract him, which was a brain distraction. And they said, what are you doing in here? And I said, oh, we're looking for uh, this patient's file that you seem to want so badly. I said, and I looked at a file cabinet, and it was U-Z. And I said, in fact, we've been looking from U to Z. U Z. And I underlined it. <laughs> They're both really, I guess, mystified that the bomb plans aren't there. They can't figure out how the door didn't open when they want it to open. Uh, but they looked at me and they said, what? And I said, we're looking from U to Z, U Z. And I underlined the uh, file cabinet door, U to Z, again. And Peter Vaughn, who'd been uh, accused, all of a sudden got it. And he started laughing almost hysterically because he was nervous anyway. And he said, yeah, we're looking from U to Z, U Z. <laughs> and that was kind of the end of it. We didn't have to deal with clinicians uh, believing that we were going to blow up the clinic. Uh, we weren't successful as far as I know. The clinic still exists. Uh, the patient still hasn't been found. But for those people from the clinic, or I don't know if they're still looking for I can't imagine 20 years later. But uh, that's where the file went, into the garbage because somebody got fired. Have a fun day, www.micpeakperformance.com.